Welcome to Journey Elementary, where we're striving to make learning personalized. We're excited to share with you what a day looks like for a learner. It all starts off with our morning meeting, where all our learners gather for announcements, celebrations, and a focus on soft skill development. One of the highlights for all our learners is the ability to celebrate each other when they've hit their milestones in their learning. After morning meeting, they head off to their reading block. Our reading block is an hour in length and is broken up into learners learning how to read and learners reading to learn. This is important because we want to work on skills that learners are ready for. Think about this example. You have a learner that would be traditionally a third grader. They're reading at a fifth grade level and ready for instruction at that level. But in math, they need more time and more support. In the personalized learning environment, we're able to support learners in both of these areas and make sure we are constantly hitting their zone of proximal development. During their reading block of time, learners will have seminars and coaching sessions that involve the facilitator supporting and teaching the learners about new skills. Let's listen to what Will has to share about his experience. I'm in third grade and I'm still in the second grade book, but they put me in a third grade book anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be harder for me to learn when I'm reading the third grade book or I just keep on improving on the second grade book and then I can get to the third grade book right? instead of just trying and staying there the whole time. Seminars are used in our learning studios when we have a large group of learners ready for the same instruction. Research shows that direct instruction can have an effect size of 0 .60 on learning. The importance here is having the right learners at the right time. Let's check in and learn a little more about seminars from Ms. Feldy. Seminar. So this is called our seminar and we gather in, what, what do we call this space right here? What's it called, Riley? Community. This is the community zone, right? So when we gather up here in the community zone for a seminar, what's the purpose? What are we doing? Why are we doing this, Willow? You're telling us what is in some of the actions. That okay, so we might be talking about our playlists, which is where they know what they're going to do for the day for work. So we might be looking at our playlist, which is what one of the things we're going to do today. What else do we do right now, Cassandra? Um, after seminar, we can schedule. Yes. So the learners have built their own schedules um, with the daily five reading. And then they look at their schedules and they see what their job is for today, right? And what day are we on today? Um, Tuesday round one. Tuesday round one. So we have three rounds each day. But on Friday we do something different, don't we? Mm -hmm. What do we do on Friday, Jasmine? Fluency Friday. We do Fluency Friday. So that looks a little different than our Monday through Thursday. Some of the most powerful learning happens at the coaching level. This is where the facilitator will pull learners back and work on a specific skill with them. While they are getting a mini lesson, the other learners are busy doing things that they need to support their learning. All learners will have several coaching sessions throughout the week to support them in their learning. What was your nonfiction feature that you found? Real picture. Real picture, so point to that. Very good. So in a nonfiction book, we're going to see real pictures. What's the feature you found? Labels. Labels. What do labels tell us? One of the soft skills that we believe in strongly is helping learners manage their time and work on achieving their goals. We work with our learners to set good goals that they can work towards each day to support them in their learning. After reading, we head into our math block of time. In math, learners are working towards mastery of standards. Each learner is pre-assessed before beginning a new topic. This helps us gauge where the learner still needs support so that they are getting the content they need rather than doing things they already know how to do. Again, learners all have coaching sessions to support them in their learning, but they also have items that they need to do on their own or with partners. We strive in our personalized learning environment to give learners voice and choice in how they prove their learning. 
We have found that by empowering the learners to create these artifacts, they have a deeper level of understanding than just taking a paper pencil assessment. Here's a quick example of how one learner proved they understood the distributive property. Why of course? Distributive property is a way to figure out multiplication problems. Like this. 6 times 3 plus 9. 6 times 3 plus 6 times 9. 6 times 3 equals 18. 6 times 9 equals 54. Add those together, you get 72. Wow, that makes so much more sense now. There is also another way that I want to show you. Okay, for the problem I'm going to show you today, is the one right here on the right. So, Austin got seven tigers for his birthday. On Christmas Day, he got six times as many tigers. These are just three examples of the incredible work our learners are doing to prove they understand their standards. After math, learners then go back to their home studio to either get ready for lunch or to work on writing and our daily language instruction. Our learners still go to lunch and recess with their peers from the other sections. The afternoon is a little more traditional for science and social studies. Our focus is to make sure we have math, reading, and writing supported, and we'll slowly start to look at ways to personalize the learners' afternoon. Our learners still have their specials, and they go to their specials with their home studio. They still have PE, music, guidance, library, and art, all that happen in the afternoon. Personalized learning tailors learning to each learner's strengths, needs, and interests. Learners have a voice and choice in determining what, how, when, and where the learning occurs. Facilitators provide the flexibility and support to ensure mastery of the highest standards possible. We're excited that we can really look at each learner and what do they need to best support them in their learning journey.